What is going on, guys? Uh, I want to report on this uh, story that happened uh, uh, yesterday, late afternoon, around 4 p.m. PST, uh, where essentially major, many, many major verified top Twitter accounts were quote-unquote hacked. I don't want to use that word because that's not what it looks like is happening, but, well, it is hacked. And those accounts started tweeting uh, some Bitcoin addresses, the same address actually, and asking people to put money in their account. And it's a basically one of the Bitcoin scams that we've been seeing for years right now. But it's the largest security, highest social engineering effort that I've ever seen in, in, in my entire life, to be honest. And uh, as... As a, as a software engineer channel, we need to kind of discuss and what exactly happened. So there was like a lot of uh, speculation of what caused that. The developers started discussing that there might be a Twitter API leak or they were uh, some some thread said that or oh, Twitter started updating their API because of the I don't know, 14th anniversary or whatever. So someone gain access to their old t Twitter API and they managed to tweet to as impersonating other people uh, using that old API. Um, so again, all that stuff, Romer, until we heard from Twitter support that this was a socially engineered, it says, we detected that we believe this is a coordinated social engineering attack by people who successfully targeted some of our employees with access to internal systems and tools. So that's what Twitter claims. Okay, now I'm not going to show any screenshots of the internal tool that caused that because Twitter just bans everyone who does show that tool. But what I am really concerned and I'm I'm baffled by okay let's say it is a system tool that manages users and every system have that right okay an internal management tool I can understand an internal management tool to delete tweet I can in turn uh, understand a tool internally to delete a, an offensive tweet like you, you cannot say that delete it I can understand a suspend tool okay here's a button to suspend Here's a button to ban. Here's a button to change your email, restart your password, right? Even restart password should not, the Twitter should not know your password. I don't understand why do you guys have an internal system tool that tweets on behalf of someone else? It's like me going to the database and adding a record, a row to the table, the tweets table, and I'm claiming to be president trump and tweeting something else entirely that he didn't actually tweet okay obviously a dba can do it right you can go to the database and insert a row and all of a sudden it just shows up in the system right doesn't use the application you're completely bypassing all the doors okay you can do that but this tool to me that's the exact same thing there is no reason that i can think of where you would need an internal to, to tweet on behalf of someone. And that's what happened here. The hacker managed to gain access to an employee to compromise an employee account. And they gain access to Twitter internal network. And once you're internal, it's where you have access to shares, folders, whatever, right? So they started looking for this tool and apparently they found it. Again, I'm not going to show a screenshot of this tool, but you can look at it, just Google it and you can quickly look it up. But And then once they get that, they started tweeting on behalf of Barack Obama, on behalf of Elon Musk, on behalf of Joe Biden, on behalf of uh, Jeff Bezos and other accounts as well, right? I'm just really glad that it came down to just immediately what was that he got hundred thousand dollars which is which is nothing to be honest right and he didn't use this tool to actually start a war because he could easily impersonate the president and tweeted something 
that could have caused the war. And and and, and I, I'm 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 glad that didn't happen because that that could be a disaster. That puts a lot of I mean I'm I'm really scared when that happened because I felt personally responsible as an engineer. It was like, how can we protect our system from all that stuff? How can we do better? I mean, even if, 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 if an engineer have access to the database, they can insert a row into a table and that, that could be a tweet, that could be a false Facebook post, that could be anything, right? We need to think about as back engineer, especially, right? It's like, think, how do we prevent that? You have to tweet from the application and we need to authenticate that this is the application that you can tweet from a client app that is authorized to tweet right you cannot just insert a row and, and we don't allow that because I, i'm i'm scared that people someone will know that if you know the credentials to the database you can do that right that's another way and that just get me thinking man what can one do with current system and how secure are we right i'm pretty sure twitter have all kind of security but in this case someone just left the key under a rock somewhere. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, you have all kind of locks. You have like bolted chains and stuff on your door, but you left the key under the damn rock outside. And that's someone just picked it up and got in. That's exactly what happened. And obviously I, I don't I don't say this because I don't say this to, to to throw shade at Twitter or anything like that because any one of us can run into a situation like this. I'm pretty sure if you we are a, if we if you build a system like that, they they hit you hard. They can they can find flaws and and we we we're focused on the superficial flaws. Oh, I'm gonna disable TLS 1.1 and 1.0, right? So we can use or force people to use 1.2 1.3 because it's more secure. And we forget the basic and the basic and the basic stuff. Now, that's what Twitter claims. Yeah, I'm not sure. That we, this is what they have told us so far. This is what we know. Okay. What they don't know still is if the employee actually negotiated with the hacker, right? It's like in 1980s. Who uses a hacker anymore? Okay. It's like they negotiated with the hacker and gave them the tool on an exchange of some payments or the, 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 the employee has been compromised somehow then and got their account. Now, if the employee has been compromised, then we have a lot of questions here as well. How did they get compromised? How did their security got compromised? The internal employee account how did they get compromised did they run some tools and they got in because i'm interested in everything that we need to say and we still don't know anything to be honest guys i'm following all the big security experts and and they don't know anything yet we're all speculating right now and we might find something else in the future i'll keep you guys updated but that for now this is what we know internal tool that has been leaked and for the life of me i don't understand why an internal tool need to tweet on behalf of someone that shouldn't that shouldn't have existed to be honest that tool should not have existed all right guys that's it for me today very quick video to discuss the situation uh i'm glad everything back to normal i think and twitter have everything under control what do you guys think about the situation let me know in the comment section below. What do you think this is? Do you think it's an internal tool? Do you think it's an API leak? Do you think it's an, some other security vulnerability that we don't know about? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.